I need to get my hair cut. God, that did a... I like your hair. You've got amazing hair. I know, I just need it cut. It's got no shape. You it's look got no gorgeous. Form. I look like a yeti. Welcome to our podcast, How to Stay Married So Far. Hello. And welcome if you're watching us and not listening to us, or watching us and listening to us on YouTube. If you are watching us on YouTube, could you, you please... poor fuckers. Could you please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because I was round at my mum's the other day. She said, do you know, I never see anything on your YouTube channel. We looked at it and there was no notification bell. I thought it was just because you didn't like it. Because YouTube doesn't show you everything. No. It's only if you've hit the notification no. bell. No. Um, and so if you're listening on podcast and you want to search for our YouTube channel, it is simply Nadia Sawala and family. Welcome. Welcome. Mark and I have had a rather strange day. We've had a day of the most boring. We've had boring, upsetting and difficult tasks all day. We've been really good on our healthy eating and had things like poached eggs and avocado and then nothing for hours and hours. The kids have just gone off to their pottery lesson. And so we've just stood at the cupboards, binging. We've had quavers, chicken crisps, mm. Fruit and nut butts, there's nothing left for their packed lunch tonight. And I'm, nothing. Pla I'm planning an Indian takeaway tonight. Yeah, so we've gone full rebel. Mm. We looked at each other and we just both caught each other looking so unhappy and miserable before so we had the binge. And then we just burst out laughing and flung each other, flung ourselves into each other's arms. Yeah. If only the it camera stopped, which was unfortunate. had been on, it would have been a very funny thing to watch. But... Yeah. I couldn't remember whether it's my turn to come up with a um, discussion point this week. So, we just decided I would come up with it again. <laughs> yeah, when in doubt, just hand it over to the missus. Yeah, and for those of you thinking, does that woman every blood ever bloody shut up? Mark no, she answer? doesn't. No. no, no, she actually doesn't. That's why I'm a TV presenter. But she actually says that I end up speaking more in all of our content. Well, you do talk a lot. No, it's not true. Um, also, can I just ask some of our lovely subscribers, um, did you like our comments on comments of, we've only done one on the comments of uh, yeah, the podcast. Yeah, because we really enjoyed podcast. it. We enjoyed doing it. And also, it's a nice way because it means that we stop and have to think about a lot of what you've said, you know, whereas we often see them, but because you're busy and you're on the move, you don't get a chance to really react to them. So mm. if you like them, we'll do more of those. I thought mm. I quite enjoyed that. We did the Izzy's questions, didn't mm. we? Mm. Uh, and for those of you who are listening on the, on the iPod, iTunes or audio boom or whatever it is give us a like there as well because that's that, that's really encouraging i keep going to the my uh what's oh, it wait. called my podcast app and uh, every time i go there i want to see more reviews He's and a comments statistician, i love i love like seeing things i love yeah all that sort of stuff anyway so. i wouldn't notice a statistic if it's got up and slapped me around the face well you, yeah, i've shown you a few, i've tried to show you a few impressive statistics over the years but they never really impress mm. you do they no my <laughs> statistics don't impress you do you remember when i used to be able to pull you there used to be, we used to use this phrase where she'd say to me, I'd do something like take a photograph in a certain way and my hands would hang in a certain way and I'd do something. And she'd go, you, you pulled. pulled. She hasn't said that for about three years. And actually, why is that? as we're sitting here, I'm actually going to change what my topic was going to be. I thought you were going to say change my top. I was thinking, what, on camera? No, yeah. I'm going to change my topic. I've decided we're going to go totally organic with this. I was thinking of one thing that I'll save for another week, but... I think that all that's happened with us today and what we've already touched on this in this podcast without really realizing is and it's been a thought that has been ruminate i've been ruminating with over a period of time now this is going to be very very shocking why oh god because it's quite a big thing i'm going to say what i hate it when you do this why do you do this i now feel like i'm on the edge of an airplane about to throw myself out or be pushed out now, I've loved being married. Oh, no. And I've loved being your wife. You want to suggest getting divorced? No, no. But this podcast is how to stay married so far. Yeah. I would like to put a suggestion to you and see if you're up for it. Oh, my God, he's so worried now. If you're on podcast, you should see his face. <laughs> on YouTube, you can see his face. Um, God, how do I put this? I have loved being married, even though so much of it has been bloody a bloody nightmare for both of us and very difficult and very challenging and very exhausting but also very rewarding because we've got oh, through All right. but at this point in my life I don't want to be your wife anymore right 
What does that mean? I want to go back to being your girlfriend. Right. So will you be my boyfriend? So what do you mean by that? I get mean, a divorce? Ev- no, not get a divorce, of course not. But in every sense, I don't want to call you my husband anymore. I want to call you my boyfriend. I want you to call me your girlfriend. Because... Doesn't that, isn't that something that's a bit impossible over the age of 50? No. No? I think it's a... You know, like in CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, where you have to just change the way that you're thinking and then different things can happen, like meditation, like everything. And we were laughing here, weren't we? When we were like, oh, God, do you remember before we were married, with this time we would have just... Oh, we'd have flung ourselves on the bed. We would have... We would have, I don't know, smoked cigarettes, got drunk, done whatever. Obviously, we can't smoke just cigarettes and get drunk anymore. Um, but we're weighed down, like everybody is. We're weighed down a lot by being married. I know it's only an, a word, but I think it would be really fun. Think of me as your girlfriend. Say well, it. Say it to me or my girlfriend. Well, before I start getting into all the semantics of this nonsense... Um, oh, right. Now you're going to make me really... If you're going to immediately call it no, nonsense, no, 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 not no. even go with me for, no, a, for a minute. I am going to go with you for a second, but here's the thing. It's about, it's about intention, isn't it? It's about how you approach things. If all it takes is calling me your boyfriend and me calling you your girlfriend to change your... Suddenly sort of like a ma- wave a magic wand and change the entire... You know, I would say that in any relationship... Attempts at romance and wooing and all these kind of things slide. They slip. Mm. Slippage creeps in, but that doesn't cre- creep in because of what you're called and who of you are. It, doesn't. it creeps in because of your schedule. Of it creeps it in because of your, your, you know, um, not even your inclination, but you, you, you start to reprioritize other stuff like kids and work and um, you know so many things now. I can think of many small examples of where I, I, would, I liked treating you like I would a girlfriend, whether it be sending cards or um, you don't do any buying of that presents. Anymore. No, I don't do any of that anymore. Because they, they, but that's not just about me having stopped because I thought, oh, well, I'll stop. It was partly because I thought it wasn't wanted or particularly needed. And that's about, because that's about as much as it, of it being received as, as me wanting to do it. So... You, one does, you know, right down to little things which upset me a little bit, like, well, anniversaries aren't that important and buying presents at birthdays and Christmases aren't that, uh, isn't that important and we're at a point now where we don't... And you, you say a lot of those things as much as I've kind of gone along with them and I've embraced them when you've said them, thinking, OK, well, we are maturing and we're getting to a point in our relationship where we don't need to be so... so and this is the point that gets me about men and women. I think women are quite happy to sort of... What, sort of follow that route and head off that way, and then oh my suddenly God, there's wanna, so many women that will disagree with you on that. And then suddenly want men that don't want no, to do and then suddenly want to yank it back round to hang on, well let's whoa. So I suppose my reaction isn't one of how dare you? You suddenly want to send? I feel like I've been wanting that for years. Right. First of all, you are so bloody annoying. I now want to retract my offer of being your girlfriend because you don't deserve me as your girlfriend. Why? Why? What a twattish, Why is that twattish? twattish, what is egotistical, twattish? self-centered, egotistical? bloody answer. First of all, I had a bloody baby attached to my breast for two years. Of course you did. For each twice. Well, no, yeah, no, but no once. But no, no, one, no, no one's suggesting no, but, that you But didn't. the thing is, Mark, also... For a long while, your cards and all of that became about your jealousy. And we cards. talked about that. Your when you used to send me cards, it was like, oh. and how much do you love me back? And it became like a thing where I had to match you with the card, otherwise oh. you would then get pissed off. So we, I haven't forgotten any of that, even okay. if you had. Right. My, Of course, I'm not a complete half-witted moron in that I think that just by joking... <laughs> This, it, we take off record just by changing the name of something that all it does what I'm saying is I'm acknowledging the fact that yes we have got caught up with just doing and being and functioning and the kids and we home educate I, our kids we spend 90% more time with our children than most people do because we're with them all the time I love and so the oxygen children suck the oxygen out of a relationship that. I get that. so what I'm saying is of course it's an 
affectation, but maybe if we just do it and we just use it, we'll start thinking, well, what does it mean? Why is it nicer being called a girl? No, I agree. What have we let go of? I agree. No, I, of course I accept that. And I accept it in the spirit of that. And I think it's a lovely thing to actually suggest. But here's my thing. On, when you get into the nitty gritty close up detail of every day and you know the everyday demands on you are very different to the everyday demands on me with the children with the family with food with you know running home and all that kind of stuff um, you know small things like me coming and, and suggesting I mean I would often book things and schedule things and take us to do things more than happy to drive us everywhere I love booking things I love taking you out I love introducing to you all those things I have curtailed them, and that's not actually because of anything to do with you, but it's to do with our shared responsibilities. Make it far more problematic to just go, oh yeah, let's go, let's go and do that. Whereas, so I, I feel like our horizons of experience have actually lessened in the last two years because the girls are homeschooled, because our time is occupied all the time, because work is 24 seven for us due to social media and the type of work we do. Um, you know, it, it, so so at the bottom of the list of priorities is me coming and going, you know what, there's something I saw which requires us to move heaven and earth to logistically get us both there, but willing to do it. So I don't ask anymore. Yeah, but listen, I'm not sitting here saying you're doing something, you, you're responding. Well, you like I'm it. saying you've done everything. Be, yeah, but you're wanting to be treated, you want to be made, I, no, I'm saying I said, you want to be made to feel more special. Two-way street. Mm. I, I, I totally accept that. This isn't, just about you not doing stuff or just about me not doing stuff. It's about the, you know, the humdrumness of a relationship that we all get into. One comes home, one's tired, and oh God, do I wanna go all the way up to bloody town? And I'm saying, when you're boyfriend and girlfriend, before you're married, before you have kids, of course you wanna jump on a bloody train and go into town and meet up and go off and do something. I mean, obviously, it, it, there's lots of different reasons why people lose their way with that, and it is getting older, and it is getting, but I just think, it would be a really fun thing to do, just for a month, just to think and to, using the word helps you think of it and just think, what in this situation am I just being a married person with head down and the graft of being a married person in a relationship with children? And what would it, how would I approach this differently if, if it were before? And is there any possible way I can still... So are you saying that a lot of men wouldn't want to do that? Yeah, loads of women I know, their men would never book anything and never want to do anything. I mean, yeah. I, I actively don't do it because I think it's going to be well, too hard, it's going to, be too hard spent, to get this away. We spent a lot on doing the house up, didn't we? And so we said we've got, I mean, the thing is, we used to do a lot more going out and then we thought, right, we've got to like pull in our belt, what did you say? Pull in our belt a bit because mm. we'd, we'd got this extension done and stuff. And so we used to do a lot more stuff like that, didn't we? Where we'd mm. throw ourselves around doing stuff. Mm. Um, and so then that's now become our yeah, norm. It's not doing stuff for doing stuff. I mean, like when either. we go on a date, what do we do when we go on a date? We, we generally always we'll, just go to the cinema. Well, no, or we go to the theatre. Or well, we'll very have some, rarely Or we'll have something to with. Because well, the theatre's so, so much, much rubbish. Shit on. Um, you know, go, we'd go to art galleries. I mean, yeah, but we always do the same thing. Either an art gallery. Well, what would you like to do? No, no, I, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying this is something no, that's no, no, yours. I'm not saying it I'm is. I'm saying but, we. But what do most people do on a date night? If they go for well, date, they go know. for something to eat. They get the, you know, you sort of. Well, that for instance, we never go for anything to eat. Yeah, no, but no, common. not not. No, we'll go out for a functional wagamamas, or we'll grab a burger, or we'll get a pizza. We don't dress up. Go out to dinner like we would have as boyfriend mm. and girlfriend. That's what. I'm, well, and that's say, me. But, but one of the that's problems. That's me. It's not. It's not you. I'm, but also this, one of the other problems is yeah, you could I go out. We could go out dancing. I mean, the night that we took Maddie out to Ronnie Scott's, I was thinking, I love live music. I love going to see live music. I thought, God, this is this is so unusual that we haven't done this. Yeah, I mean, we I used to do. love going to gigs, but but the the added problem is we are of a certain age, and I. It's not about feeling that you can't carry on having fun over a certain age, but when you then, for me, remove the alcohol from it, I the know. thought of us being able to go to a club, A is cringe because we're combined age of 98, or whatever it is, or 100, 100, 104 in fact, combined age. Oh Christ. Yeah, so combined age of 104 walking through a dress code Depressed in a now. club is a bit depressing. Um, and then once in there, you know, sort of dancing. I, one thing I don't want to look like is the, the, uh, the couple is the couple in Wanderlust. Maybe what you're suggesting with boyfriend and girlfriend is you want a, a boyfriend. Oh God, you're so annoying. This is what's so annoying oh, oh, about oh, oh, you. Oh, yeah. You're just a prat. I'm not prat. You're being prattish, babe. That's not prat. You're not no, going but... with the 
essence of what I'm saying. But the your, essence your, of what you're of saying all, is how do we revitalise you, things? You've gone chippy and you've gone, gone like, chippy. this is all about me, completely different. I would have wanted to go... Okay, so how would you go about making me feel more like a boyfriend well, rather exactly, than Well, exactly, exactly. And I think that that's exactly the point. Where can... Neither of us have done anything with an unkind intention. We just got caught up in I didn't know we have done anything mad. at all unkind. Oh, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think... I mean, I... You know, I suppose what I'm what I'm reacting to is so much of what, no, you're, what you're saying. No, so much of what you're saying. Yeah, I suppose because I've actually, I suppose it's different because I've kind of because I've been stone cold sober for fourteen years. I've been very conscious of the things that have slipped away in our relationship mm. on a romantic stone level. Stone cold sober. I mean, I've been fucking rigidly stone cold sober, I know. not able to even so escape well. the minutiae of I the know. detail of how things shift. So as I've watched the sands of time erode, I'm aware of them because I go into my room and I'm a, you know, I, I like to keep things. I'm, I'm very nostalgic. A hoarder. So I have lots of cards and I'll find these things. So I'm often reminded of these things. Like they catch me, that I pause. I think, oh, that, that, you know, that was sweet. I'll start that again. And then a heaviness enters me where I think it's not the same anymore. Yeah. It's not the same anymore. I'll send a card. What the fuck will it mean? It'll probably be eaten by a dog or it'll end up going in the <laughs> bin and the wrong recycling <laughs> bin. Um, it will be put on the table and then it will be used as a, as a list making device and then it will be used, you know, things have changed. The specialness of a card, I get what you're saying about the, you know, the cards became a way of you, you sending me a card. You know, that's the idiocy of youth, isn't it? But, um, so I suppose what I'm saying is I have seen those, those little steps down occur over the years. And I haven't felt a massive sadness about them, but you're right. You stop, you say a comment like that, and I think, well, yeah, I have seen that. I have seen all those things go go to the wall a bit. And it yeah, makes but, me sad. But, but, but the thing is, I'll say it again. I, you know, you're an amazing husband. I'm an amazing wife. You know, we try our best, but we don't, at the moment, I don't think we're trying our best for ourselves. We deserve to have more fun as a couple. Right. Don't we? We deserve it. We work hard. We well, kind. We look after people. We are good I feel friends. If I do, I feel if I... We're a, you're a good son. I'm a good daughter. When? I'm a good mum. When do we have fun for ourselves? Then when oh. you, you haven't got time to see your dear, got gorgeous, wonderful friends that you love and are also lovely. I do. I, I, do, I don't. I don't have any friends that I, I particularly want to spend time with, and those that I do don't live in London. So, you know. But I'm busy. I seem to be always working. I seem to be always dealing with the kids or dealing with, you know... Yeah, but this what... is why this is a good podcast and I hope people have managed to bear us to get to this because I think Cause if this I if is I the essence of staying married. This is the es Right here now, what we're talking about is why marriages break up. Now, there's no way where our marriage is going to break up. But I think it's really good for us at 15 years married that we're going, OK... We've got to do a big, like, shit. Well, we haven't been. We've just been doing it since you started this podcast. Oh, no, I know it. Yeah. I'm excited. Hang on. The enormous U-turn by the bus driver that she's demonstrating, in case you're listening with her arms, started 18 minutes ago. I know, but isn't that exciting? I was aware yeah, that people... we were drifting off course about 10 years ago. Oh, God. Now, you see, now I just don't want to be bothered now. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> This is, this is what this is why I could divorce you. Oh, shut up. So, so yes, yes, I agree. I agree that it's something, but, but you have only made the decision now 18 and a half minutes ago. So the why... thing is, I started off with a really nice thing. Yeah, but where is this you built immediately from? You immediately leapt to a chippy, defensive it's not chippy, mode. darling. It's not chippy. I'm doing this, I'm doing that. chippy? Why did you impersonate oh me like an old man? <laughs> why not? <laughs> why do I become a curled up little old man talking like that? That wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me. That isn't me. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm curious to know what led you to say this. Because you, there was an element, just before we started this well, podcast, we, we were setting the up the camera, we were setting up the cameras, we'd eaten a bag of quavers. Mark, Mark, let me pause you because you re I said all of this at the beginning of the no, podcast. No, 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 I know. No. I said we were eating quavers but, and we yeah. looked at each other and said, when but we what were... about your life has led you to think in recent months or the weeks? The quavers. The, <laughs> not the quavers. The quavers though. was an epiphany when we did the quavers. <laughs> I went, oh my God. I want to be, be treated more, more like a girlfriend. No, you keep 
putting all the potatoes on your stall. Is what that are we doing? Why are we staying with potatoes and crisps? It's really I don't odd. Know, it's because we're so <laughs> starving, hungry. Can we get what's that lovely right. dish you get in an Indian takeaway with potatoes in it? What's that Bombay, 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 Bombay like that. Yeah, really nice. We'll get some of that. Yeah, all right. I'm full now. I want one. I'm hot. I'm starving. Just because you're full doesn't mean I'm not having a bloody Indian takeaway. It no, wasn't the quavers. It's, 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 we have both lost our way with allowing ourselves to have fun. I mean, we do giggle a lot. We laugh so much. We get on so well. You know, you're a great friend of mine as well as everything else. So, um, we, we have fun, but I don't think we have as much fun as we could. In what way? Well, for instance, we'll give us some when we go on a date, we've usually packed our date absolutely full before we go. I'm always we're exhausted knackered. when we head off on a date. Yeah. Always exhausted. So we would never build to say a day where we went, you know what we're gonna do? Yeah. This would be this is okay, let me give you give my me your perfect let day. me give you your perfect I'll no, give you my perfect. my perfect day for us would be if I said to the girls, right girls, you've got you've got your theatre group on Saturday. It's your responsibility. Can you make sure the dogs are walked, dogs are fed? You've got to be responsible for them all day. You can have kid, you can have friends over, do whatever you want. You're in charge of the house. I want to take mum out for the day. We go into town. We do something really old fashioned, like we go a little bit sightseeing. We go somewhere, we go to the shops and have a look around some shopping centers, you know, places that. Shops? No, no, no. As soon as we go in a shop, you'll start sweating. No, 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 but a nice part of town like Covent Garden, where we always used to go when we were drunk and silly and buy tr you'd buy me jeans that never fitted me because yeah. they were sort of strange shapes and, and, and things. Um, go around there, we could go, go for a really nice bite to eat in, in a really foo-foo far far restaurant somewhere for lunch. We'd then go, I don't know, we'd then go and see either a play or a film or something or not, or just go to an art gallery, hang out and have dinner somewhere else. That's so typical, you're such an addict. You immediately give five different, immediately well, no, 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 but any of those, or, or as, as few of those as we want, or something that we did many, many moons ago, which was lovely, when I was like, whoa, what are we doing? You know, go to a part of London, like I grew up in West London, you know, go to a part of London, we'd just hang out there for, for the day, wander around a market, do, you know, stuff that, you know, we don't have the guilt of the children, we don't have the guilt of the kids, we don't have, and we're not coming out of an exhausting day at work, we're an exhausting week of constant fucking highs and lows. But, you know, I do think it's about, I think it's about intent, I think it's about And I think grafting. married couples as well. I mean, this has become about date nights, but uh, this is why I love these podcasts. We never know where they're going to end up. I think the other thing about podcasts is, uh, podcasts, about dates is, once people are married, you never meet up with anyone again, do you? What do you mean? Like, we would always sort of have a bit of a row, be clearing up the dogs, clearing up the sick, feeding the kids, whatever, and then go out together. So you're like leaving your home and going. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, oh, so we thinking, if we're thinking boyfriend and girlfriend, yeah. what would we do? We would rendezvous, exactly. Okay. Well, so, I, so I'll drive and you'll travel, travel in public. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got the car, you see. So I, I drive somewhere really nice, I park up. Well, I could get the train. <laughs> yeah, you could get the train. Um, or you could get an Uber. Um, yeah, I, I agree. But I mean, aren't we now into the, aren't we into the realms now of if I wear something different, you'll be more sort of... You know, I mean, meeting up. Are we not part? Are we not grown up enough to not have to meet up? I think it's nice to sometimes meet up. I think that's. I think that's a problem. Are we not grown up enough? Are we not? I don't want to be grown up. The last thing I that's fucking I mean. want to be is what grown a stupid up. Stupid thing for you to say. Yeah, but say. if I was truly staying, staying in the age that I want to be, I'd be running around with my hand down my trousers most of the time, just kind of like <laughs> looking deeply suspect and worried and wanting to just do one thing all the time. I can't. I can't observe what are you that behaviour. Talking behavior. about you might have to. We never edit anything out of this. No, you I might mean have to edit that, Mark. No, <laughs> no I mean I could be an overly keen boyfriend who just you know. That was a really horrible image. No. <laughs> Why did you have to say that? I just think that's really funny. What? I was, I was being so Running offensive. around with your hand and your trousers. What? Trying to what? <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to be doing? I don't know, but I'm not editing any of this out because the point of these podcasts is that we run... What I meant by that was, 
you know, teenage boys have one thing on their mind and that's what I'd I have on my no, mind with you. I'm not asking you to be a teenager. Well, you you have boyfriend, this, hang on, you have boyfriend and this, girlfriend. Well, I met you at 38 years old. You weren't a teenager. That wasn't a boyfriend either. You were. <laughs> you started off as a boyfriend. Oh, did I? What? <laughs> my boyfriend. My, I'll say that again. Say it does my sound boyfriend. quite nice, Here you it? go. God, <laughs> 24 minutes, 45 <laughs> seconds in. You've accepted my offer, but I've now retracted it. Well, it's all right. I didn't really want it anyway. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, being younger, being being more carefree, being... Yeah, I guess so. Meeting up on a but date. It doesn't that mean sort of that suddenly we've got to be skipping in bloody fields of poppies. I'm not saying that. Yep. But I just think... Just a little bit more mindfulness towards it. Are we having as much fun as we could well, be? Well, by the same extension, you could go back to one of our other uh, podcasts where we discussed, should we sleep in separate rooms and not live together? Should we separate to stay together? It's a programme idea that I developed years ago. Have a look on our, on our YouTube. I think that's enough for today. I feel yeah, a bit exhausted. I think we should talk about... I feel exhausted. I'm hungry. I feel hungry. We need to, we need to order an Indian. That's not me, by the way. That's With the my dog. hand up. <laughs> On that note. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I do think a good subject for a podcast at some point would be separating to stay together. It was a brilliant, it was a brilliant format that we once developed and we were, we were going to have that made, weren't we? Do you remember? It was a really good idea where you basically you separate people who are kind of, you know, the passions run out and you separate them completely, all elements of their life, in order to try and re, rekindle Very the... complicated though. But listen, thank yeah. you so much. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and like us if you're listening to us And I'm not podcast. a perv, by the way. I didn't mean that perv. It just comes across as one. Mm. Um, <laughs> missing you already. Bye. Bye.